All right, let's get out of here. What is up, my fellow Toyota fanatics? Uh, the thing that brought you here today was probably the thumbnail, the 2022 Tundra, and uh, and those really cool taillights. We got to see them for the first time yesterday, or at least I did in this picture, and they are unique. Uh, very sharp point at the top and the bottom. They look like they're OLED. Um, definitely related to the Toyota Tacoma taillights. Definitely some similarities. I feel like Toyota is going in a certain direction, and uh, and the new Tundra is also following the uh, modern, I don't want to say new because the Tacoma has been out since 16, but um, they're definitely following some cues from the, uh, the Tacoma. Before I hop on the freeway here, uh, I just want to get out and check the, uh, the hood on the T100 real quick. I have, uh, I have hood latch issues and uh, good buddy Jeff Armstrong, he had a Chevy um, Z71 Silverado and, uh, and he bought a cowl slash Ram Air hood. The hood was like a thousand bucks. He took it to a real nice body shop here in Santa Cruz, Crafts Auto Body. I think he paid him like 2,500 bucks to paint this thing, color match the fenders and do all this crazy work. And uh, they took the side moldings off. And anyways, he picks it up, 2,500 bucks on top of the thousand dollar hood. He is not out on the road three minutes because they're right next to the freeway, this auto body shop. He's out on the road three minutes and the hood was never latched down and it flies up and smashes his windshield, smashes in the roof of the truck, bends the cowl, destroys the front fenders. I mean, probably six or $7,000 worth of damage in three minutes from having his truck complete. Uh, he did a solid axle swap and a supercharger on the truck. I mean, the thing was literally magazine quality and uh, his hood flew up. I don't know why. I mean, I know vehicles have secondary latches on the hood so they don't fly up. I don't know what happened but uh, dude was driving, hood flew up, catastrophic outcome. And, uh, and this hood on the T100 has a little bit of play in it. So a few times I've hopped on the freeway and I see it kind of dancing around up there and I go, you know, man, don't tell me this is Jeff Armstrong all over again. So anyways, I like to check the hood on this thing because I'm, al I'm always under the hood on this thing, you know, tinkering, checking the oil or doing God knows what under the hood of this thing. Um, so, uh, so I like to check that out. Anyways, I still feel bad. Anyways, shifting gears, uh, 22 Tundra. Um, I saw some more leaked photos yesterday and uh, I didn't have a lot of time to check them out, but the guy uh, who posted it did mention, hey, look at the location of the tailpipe and some other things. Um, kind of was symbolic that it might be a hybrid. And, uh, and I'm not surprised, you know, as we've uh, learned here, Toyota seems to be going more hybrid than full electric. It just seems like what they're into. And there are certain, uh, certain things I've seen online where people are bashing Toyota, you know, they don't know what they're doing. I guess they just put forward some paperwork or something to try and extend the amount of time you can uh, do hybrid vehicles before they have to go all electric. I don't really know, but I will tell you one thing and uh, anybody disagrees with me, leave a comment down below. But Toyota knows what they're doing. Toyota does not make mistakes. They are the largest automobile company on the planet. Um, I mean, they, they absolutely lead the industry and in not only vehicles, but um, many other forklifts, the, the list goes on and on. Toyota is humongous for how big their company is. Uh, they don't make mistakes. Um, Toyota doesn't get it wrong. They know exactly what they're doing and I stand by them 100%. I don't like when people bash Toyota or say, you know, like people are saying with the new Tundra, you know, oh, it looks so ugly. Uh, Toyota totally blew it. No, they didn't blow it. You know, it may not be what you're used to, but just give it a little while. Everybody's gonna want one. They did not blow it. Uh, GM, Dodge, Ford, they're not gonna take over. Toyota has it under control. Uh, they know exactly what they're doing. Anyways, love Toyota. Uh, but the taillights, very unique on this 22 Tundra. Cannot wait to see this thing in person. Uh, get a look at the interior, everything. Very excited for it. Um, so anyways, yeah, those taillights, what a trip. But anyways, shifting gears, back to T100. Love the T100. Uh, I'm heading to work right now, unfortunately. Um, beautiful day today. I wish I wasn't going to work. I wish we were going swimming or I was going mountain biking or something, but I don't know. I was going to give you guys a spiel right now about how, you know, you just can't have fun all the time. You know, you got to go work sometimes and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know if that's true for me. I think I'm a rare creature. I think I could probably uh, just live life without work. I, I've never really been into work. My wife has a great work ethic. You know, pretty much everybody in my family. All right. Well, I don't know about my sister, but uh, her and I broke the mold. Hope she's not watching this and takes that as an insult because it's not. 
uh, at all. Uh, but both my parents, great work ethic, my wife, great work ethic, uh, myself, eh, not too much. But I love having stuff and I do uh, accept the responsibility of having a family and everything. So I'm heading to work right now, totally sucks, but today's my Friday. Uh, anyways, what I wanna talk to you guys about is the T100. Love the T100. Uh, it's totally filthy right now. I did clean the windshield so we'd have a better, better lookout for our drive to work, but uh, I'm gonna start ordering some stuff for this thing tomorrow. I'm gonna order a radiator, uh, which is super cool because uh, since it's a manual transmission, I don't even have to deal with any of the uh, transmission oil cooler lines or any of that stuff. So they only make one radiator for the T100 uh, and it's for an automatic. And if you have a manual, you just don't even uh, plumb up the bottom section of it. So, uh, so that's kind of cool. But I'm gonna order a radiator tomorrow, but I wanted to ask you guys what I should jump into next. Should I order the shocks? the uh, CV axles and the manual locking front hubs and tackle the suspension or should I order a carpet kit? Should I order a carpet kit and uh, redo the interior? And if I do order the carpet kit, do I get tan that matches the factory or do I get black? Now that's one thing you guys probably heard in my uh, Tundra videos is that the Tundras and Sequoias for 2012 got black carpet instead of the light gray that came 2011 and prior. And, uh, and I loved it. That was one of the reasons why I got a 2012 and newer and I recommend other people get a 2012 and newer is you get black carpet and black carpet is awesome. And I think most manufacturers are rocking black carpet nowadays. It's just taking the world by storm. So I'm thinking black carpet in this thing would look great. It wouldn't match anything, but um, so anyway, so then there's that. Uh, I also need to jump into the engine, uh, pull off the timing cover, check out uh, the timing belt, spark plugs, do a whole fluid change out on everything. I also need to tackle the uh, plexiglass back window. I don't know if you guys can hear it rattling or making noise on this drive right now, but that thing's driving me crazy. Also, it'd be nice to know that uh, cab's more secure too once we get rid of that window. I don't think most people know, but you could just walk up and punch right through it and be inside the vehicle in two seconds. So uh, I really like to get that squared away. So um, I just wanted to ask you guys um, where you think we should go. Should I do the suspension, uh, order up the carpet and jump into the interior, more cosmetic stuff, uh, do the back window. I don't really know. Oh, also the stereo too. I need to uh, switch out the stereo. Uh, this thing has like a Pioneer DEH something from probably 20 years ago. I just found out the other day that apparently if it's a Pioneer DEH, if those are the first three letters of the uh, the receiver name, then it has the same wiring harness. So supposedly it's the same wiring harness in 2021 that it was 20 years ago on that thing. So I guess I'm gonna get another DEH Pioneer of some sort and we'll see if, it, uh, if it's a true plug and play, but I gotta get some music going in this thing. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna do door speakers for right now. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do subs or anything. I just need to get some some tunes in here, I get off work, like driving home just listening to the back window plexiglass rattle is uh, the only thing I got. Now, I do absolutely love the sound of uh, the 3.4 in this thing. It is music to my ears and I could probably just listen to that um, a lot, but uh, just some music in the background would be great. So I gotta tackle the stereo also. There's a lot to do. As a matter of fact, I should write down everything uh, and I'm gonna show you guys a list right now of all the things I need to do. And, uh, and then you guys can tell me what order you think I should do them in. But uh, I'm gonna get on this. You know, normally when I buy a vehicle and I have a bunch of stuff to do to it, I just wanna rush through it as quick as possible and, uh, and just get it done. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe I should slow down just a tiny bit on the T100 and enjoy myself, you know? It's the journey, not the destination, right? Yeah, who knows? But. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna show you guys a list here in a sec of all the things we're gonna do. Let me know what order you think I should do them in. Um, can't wait for the 22 Tundras to come out. Um, you know, with the way that car sales are these days, the way people are buying cars, it's like I'm afraid that there's never just gonna be like 80, 20, 22 Tundras on a lot and we can go check them out and see all the different models. I'm always fascinated by, you know, how much of a base model are they gonna make? You know, they used to make like a Tundra that had like vinyl floors and the car companies are kind of getting away from that. They're kind of doing just high end. They want to get your money. Um, it doesn't really mean a lot for them to, for you to save a couple grand these days. So super intrigued um, what the model lineup's gonna look like. Pretty much everything. Can't wait for the 2022 Tundra. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that. Uh, we got T100 stuff going on. Oh, this thing goes, man. Oh. 
love the T100. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, drop a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more great videos. Thank you guys, enjoy your day. I'll see you guys later, peace.